today because we got another show to play. One in Hamilton at the Delta Theater. Come on down. Come on down and make sure you buy it out. Hey, get a lot of this. New music has the guts to film this. It was a real farce. But last week's Rock Against Radiation concert at City Hall was well intended. Organizers thought it would be an anti-nuke demonstration with a difference. This was meant to be, to be a... Uh, a new wave punk sort of sort of uh, concert in order to reach the, the kids who won't come out to the folk events. And, you know, we, they're just as important as anybody else. So you did find these bands really willing to participate because uh, obviously oh, yes. they must have donated their time. Yeah. Okay. Yes, they, they are. As a matter of fact, we've got a list of about 12 other bands that wanted to play at this event and we're going to be trying to organize other events um, later. Who actually put up the money for this? Uh, well, I did, and several, several others who, uh, several, you know, just private financial backers that, that uh, we're hoping to recover our money from button and t-shirt sales, but, but uh, we're not going to worry too much because it's divided up. Just for the music? More or less, yeah. Really couldn't care less that it's an anti-nuke kind of demonstration? I didn't even know. What do you feel about nuclear energy? Do you care? No, not too much. Not really. Even most of the musicians who played were only there for the music. What's happening here today? Why did you decide to participate in uh, a Rock Against Radiation concert? Well, uh... I don't know, it was more or less just a chance to get out and play and have some fun. I don't know how we feel on radiation. We're not a very political band. But there were those, like Mendelssohn Joe, who were taking it all very seriously and doing their best to spread the anti-nuke message. Saturday, Mendelssohn Joe was on his 76th day of a 100-day fast to protest against nuclear energy. The main thing is, is the young people, because with most people over the age of 25, they're so apathetic, they, they can't conceive of the problem until the problem is at their front door, and when the problem is at their front door, they won't have any door. Joe College was one of the initial organizers of the Rock Against Radiation concert. He was also the first to admit the event was a disaster. Punk and new wave bands around really do take an anti-nuclear stance against them. Oh, they're mostly idiots. Ninety-five percent of them are total idiots. It's just like it's just like they reflect. Ninety percent of them reflect the society they live in, right? And they don't look, they don't look at at uh, if there's anything wrong. They just want to have a good time. And some of them are okay people, but they don't know too much. But what about you? <laughs> what about your music? Oh, I study, eh? So it's different. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm Joe College. But for those of the few hundred fans that showed who didn't mind the offensive language and apathetic attitude, I guess it was still a decent afternoon of free, raunchy rock. But one thing's certain, it'll be a long time before City Hall hosts another punk party.